Hello everyone. Yeah, my name is Esrid and I humbly welcome you to my channel. Today we are traveling all the way to the Upper East region of Ghana. There is a popular tourist site known as the Panga Crocodile Pond. So do all to join me on my adventures. Alright, so we are currently on the move. And I'm right here with my bosses. Now Sharif is behind the steering wheel. Yeah, that's my man right there. <laughs> More than fast and curious. My bro, you for kill your speed, you feel me? <laughs> and you have John there. Allah, boss. <laughs> Beside John is Mr. Enchi. <laughs> Grandpa in the building. <laughs> Alright, so we just got to Nahiana. Yeah, um, one of the neighboring towns. So we will surely be getting to Paga any moment from now. So keep joining us. Surprisingly, we just got to Navrongo. And Navrongo is one of the popular towns in the Upper East region. This is actually not my first time here, trust me. It's always amazing anytime I do visit this town. And surprisingly, it's just 11 kilometers to the Paga Crocodile Pond. We are almost there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so let's go. Okay guys, we are here. Finally, we've got into the Paga Crocodile Pond. Okay, so you are all come to the Chief Crocodile Pond. Thank you. This is the current paramount chief of Paga traditional area. This is called Pe Awea Awan Paramount. That's his picture here. These are widows who work as a tall guys to the Crocodile Pond. So I'm one of them here in the picture. I'm called Amit Mahama. This is also the crocodile when they call it out. Any of you can have access to make pictures with it like this. You can either hold the tail, squat on it, make pictures with it without any harm. This is myself with the crocodile. You can as well do this like So this crocodile is their harmless. Yes. You can go close to them, hold them, make pictures with them. You cannot see. In the water, we have more than 200 of them inside it. Wow. But kids do go in there to swim with them and come out safely. Mm. Yes. You said okay. we swim in the water? I said inside the pond, we have over 200 of them in the water. But kids do go in there to swim with them and come out safely. Wow. Without any harm. <laughs> so, if you feel. <laughs> if you want to try that, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not the one. They will try. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that you will try that. It's so far. Yeah, you will play the role for us. together. So, this is, we also have other tourist sizes here. Aside from the crocodile pond, we have the chief palace, we have the Nanias left hand. But that one, we don't have the kitchen here. But if you can see, this is the chief palace. That's the entrance and this is part of it. So it's also used as a tourist site in Paraguay. Okay. But we do have a smoke shop. Just opposite the smoke shop. Okay. We sell this type of smokes. So if you, you, know, you are interested in it, maybe after the conference, you just walk there. These are some of the tourist sites we have in the country. Okay. Some of them are in Paraguay and okay. some are not in town. We have Moli National Park. Then we have Togo Yards. Then we do have Pala Pond, which is which is a target. And then we have 
slave camp. So so in Tanga here. But the Sirugo Poetry Act. That one is also in Tanga here. We have the Masha Palace. That one is our master here. Elmina Castle in other places. Yes. So here in Tanga is a camp. You can see the coconuts and make the chest of when you go the tail, they won't. No, no, no. The thing is that when you call them out, you need to walk behind. You don't have to walk in front of them. Because outside, they can't see clearly as compared to when they are in the water. So when you walk in front of it, it may see your sandals, thinking that they are throwing a chicken for it. So it may mistake click that your neck as a chicken. Okay. <laughs> Might be gradually but No, 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 no. It will release you, but then the ticks, it will wound you. Okay. You understand? So, we normally advise visitors not to walk in front of you. Okay. That behind you. So, when we take you in there, we will have to guide you through, and then you do your job. Okay, so the tour guide just gave us a brief idea about the whole place. So we are about, you know, entering, entering the exact location. So do you want to join us? No. Okay, guys, we are in. <laughs> this is Panga Crocodile Pond. It's such a big place, though. So how they, 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 they don't feel that oh, that's the lady taking a picture with the crocodile. Okay, so a new tour guide has just been assigned to us. Charlie, you know, hey, now let me make a crown also, Chemi. Okay, so this is Panga Crocodile Pond, and we are getting close to see some of the crocodiles. I'm told that's the, you know, the biggest one is actually lying down there. Oh, there's something. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get close to it or not. <laughs> Alright, so we just took some shots with the biggest crocodile here. I'm told it's, a, it's around 98 years of age. This <laughs> crocodile? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Around 98 years. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Every year, we are. Okay. 
So we are told it's Wallos, you know, a, um, a pebble or a stone annually. So, so yeah, our point is that yeah, the age can be counted based on the stones in the tummy. Yeah, that's what I'm told. I was actually shaving previously when I got close to the crocodile, but I think I'm quite okay now. Yeah. So they are about feeding the crocodile now. Let's take a very good look at that. <laughs> I think I'm even I'm panting a little. <laughs> okay, so we'll be observing the feeding of the crocodile. Hey. <laughs>